guys, I'm Kim and this is my February book haul. I bought quite a few books in February because I haven't bought books because I haven't bought a lot of books before then. I bought some in, Fe in January, but before that I haven't bought a book in ages. So I kind of splurged a little bit in February and bought quite a few books. I got three books off of Amazon um, that were like for free. So Amazon sometimes has Kindle books for free to download, so I downloaded three of them. The first one is, oh shit. I actually downloaded that one in German, I don't know why, but it's a classic, it's like um, around the world in 80 days or something like this. I'm sorry, I don't really know the English title right now, but it's by Jules Verne, Verne or whatever. I guess it's a French name, I'm not sure, but you've all probably heard about this book. It's a children's classic and I don't really know when I will read it, but I always like the story, so I, when I saw it, I just don't know it. The other two books are English, so yeah. The first one is Shadow Fang and the second one is The Magic of Thieves and both are fantasy books. Then I also got two books off of NetGalley. One is a German book that isn't yet available in English and it is Chosen die Bestimmte and the second one is Ensnared. Both of them are fantasy as well. So let's get into the physical books because I bought a lot of physical books. The first one I didn't actually buy myself as you can probably already tell by me holding it up. It's from the Fairy Loot February box so I guess I did buy it. I mean I paid for it but yeah, it was in the Fairy Loot February box and it's Empress of a Thousand Skies by Roda Belissa. It's a YA sci-fi book. I do not know a lot about this book and I do not know a lot about any of the books I bought because I don't really want to know that much about the books before I go into them. Most of the books I saw around booktube and heard about them a lot of times and decided wow that sounds interesting and put them on my list but now I don't really remember what all I heard about them and that's kind of good because I really want to be going into those books with an open mind. So but I didn't but I hadn't heard anything about Empress of a Thousand Skies but it sounds really interesting. The next book I actually didn't have on my list but um, I found, found it for just a couple of euros in those sometimes in bookstores or even in drugstores or wherever they have those bins with books that have kind of like um, that have like scratches or anything and that can't be sold like in a regular bookstore or as a regular book I don't know so they're really cheap and they're all of those bins with each book 2 dollars or something like this. I'm sure there's an English word, but I don't know it right now. Which is kind of funny because talking about books, I usually have problems in my German videos because I watch mostly English um, booktube and I read mostly in English, so I'm always having trouble remembering like the German titles and the German genres and whatever. But right now, this is one thing I haven't really thought about it in English, so I don't really know the word. But um, the book is a German book and it's by Wolfgang Holbein and it's called Necropole. Um, apparently from what I gleaned off of Goodreads after having bought this, it's a middle grade fantasy. Um, I checked, Wolfgang Holbein doesn't have his books translated in English, at least not this one, but I've read books of his before and they were adult novels and I read one and while I did like it and I think I've reread it even, but it was really, it kind of really stuck with me. It really went under my skin. It's more of a like horror kind of. And the second one I didn't even finish. I kind of stopped halfway through because I was so scared of it. And so I'm, I'm hopeful this one isn't going to be as bad because it's a whole different genre. And from reading the back, it doesn't really seem that bad. Then the next two books um, are two parts of a series. I'm not even sure if it's a du duology. I think it's a duology, but I'm not 100% sure. And it's The Shadow Queen and The Wish Granter by C.J. Redwine. Um, this one is a retelling of Rumpelstiel skin or something. This is so weird. I have, I mean, as I said, I watch a lot of English booktube and I do watch all the, my TV shows in English and I listen to all my audiobooks in English and everything, so I've heard about most um, fairy tales in English and I know their titles and whatever, but Rumpelstiltskin or whatever you want to call it or whatever the right pronunciation is, is I have never heard of, about this in English. I know the tale, it's, um, yeah, I know it in German, but I didn't even think that this 
fairy tale was like anyone knew this fairy tale in different countries so i was kind of surprised when i read that this was a retelling and i don't know i'm really i really want to read this book because it sounds really interesting but just the idea of a rumpelstiltskin retelling seems really weird to me because rumpelstiltskin is kind of a I don't know, it's not really a fairy tale fairy tale. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's not really whimsical or anything. I know most fairy tales are actually pretty brutal and not that whimsical, but still, Rumpelstiltskin just, it's not a real fairy tale to me. And I, I kind of feel weird thinking about a retelling, but I'm still really excited to read this book because it sounds really interesting, retelling or not. and. I'm really excited to read this one too. So, and they and they they feel really nice. Like, oh, I just want to touch them. And the the script on here, it's no, whatever. Then the next book I bought is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here, and I've heard loads of praise about this book, but I don't really know right now what it's about. But I'm really looking forward to reading it. I read Rebel of the Sands in March, I hope, and then Traitor to the Throne once I finish this one. We'll see. But I'm really excited to read them and they're by Alvin Hamilton. Then we have And I Darken by Kirsten White, which is the first part in a trilogy, I think. The second part is coming out soon, I believe. And yeah, I have no idea what this is about, but again, I've heard loads of it about, I've heard loads about it on booktube and I thought it was really interesting, so I bought it. Then we have this little book, novella, whatever. It's called The Key and it's part of the Seven Wonders Journals series by Peter Lerengis. And I have no idea what it's about. I haven't even heard about the series before, but I was ordering on a book depository and this kind of slipped in my... Um, and this kind of slipped in my shopping basket. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading it. And I think I've heard something, but I'm really not sure about this. But the Seven Wonders journals being kind of similar to um, Rick Ryan's books. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, and up here. I just saw it now. A high, a high octane mix of modern adventure and ancient secrets, says Rick Ryan, author of the Percy Jackson series. So I knew the Rick Riordan association, association came, came from somewhere and yeah, got this one. Then we have another from the like not sellable book spin, whatever, and it's Goldmond by Susanne Pickard. It's a German book that also isn't available in English, I checked, and it's a fantasy novel. Sadly, it's the second part in a duology which I didn't know when I bought it, although it says it right here on the back, but I didn't think, so I just bought it. But I'm going to look for the first one because this seems really interesting. Then we have Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Um, when I first heard about Fangirl, I thought it was an interesting concept, but I didn't really care that much because I'm not that into contemporary. But I've kept hearing about it and then I kept hearing about um, Carry On. And Carry On is much more up my alley as fangirl would be although now i've already finished this one and now i kind of consider reading fangirl but yeah i i just loved it i don't know what to say i mean it's it's the best things of harry potter combined with a lot of other good things i don't know it's just it's really great the last book i bought this month is actually, is actually the first book i got this month and it's not even a book it's a graphic novel it's saga volume one and yeah that's it. I really liked it. I already read it as well. It's also in my February wrap up and yeah. Let me know down below in the comments if you've read any of those books, what you think about them and maybe what you bought in February. And if you like this video, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye!